Hello, uh, this is Sagmite, welcome to my channel. Um, this is just a quick video to go over Hero Forge. Um, on the daily Beyond Forms, there's a whole thread dedicated to showing what characters made in Hero Forge because they now do colored runes. Um, and people used to tend to use them as a digital uh, token or something. I've covered this in a previous video, but in this thread, uh, someone was asking how you do the spinny thing, which is here. Now, this is featured part of the pro version of Hero Forge. Um, you can use a free version, you can make some, a lot of characters, most of the features are free. Um, there's only one or two options that, that are locked behind. The only feature of Hero Forge that is actually um, under the pro version would be the booth option. Um, where you can do things like click tokens and stuff straight away without having to use an external third party service like token stamp or pink or whatever. So just gonna go over making a new character and making it do a spinny thing, making a token, that type of thing. And let's go. Uh, I'm gonna stick with human. This is gonna be a very simple thing. Uh, you do have options, and you can of course change um, softness. You do have inhuman options. Um, pretty much everything you see here is free. Um, if something was not free, it does have a pro icon next to it. But as you can see, none of these do, and they're all pretty. You even have options for th like doing the new strike and stuff. So there is a lot available. I'm just going to stick with the basic human this time. There we go. Um, like they do have a lot of options. I'm just going to stick with the default because I just want, I just want to go through this quickly. Um, rather than going through all the decisions because I haven't pre planned this. But there's a lot of options. Um, go through options for facial beards. Eyebrows. That is based on the shape. You will get to choose like eyeball, irises, and stuff later as part of colouring. The teeth. I tend to always go to the articulated one just because it looks. Not that people ever look go that close up to it. Um, but we didn't choose that one. Horns. What is my teeth in? Uh, different body types. Uh, and arm types, depending on <laughs> if you want to do creatures and not. Mm -hmm. We're going to do different types of legs, you can even do a snake thing. Um, the XL, um, I believe, are still part of free, they just mean that there will be a bigger base. So if you were going to buy this as a mini, it would cost more. Um, but there are many people like myself who, do, who don't buy the minis off here, they just use it for digital versions. Um, the pro version, the paid version, does come with the option to download the uh, the mini that you make to put it into external programs such as Virtual Tabletop um, and some others, I believe. So you can actually use this. As a 3D mini inside that software. And actually, like turtle backs and razors. As I said, I'm, I'm sticking too much to the option, um, basic stuff. Uh, you see here, like it says Pro. So, this is only going to be an option for people who are on the Pro version, um, which looks pretty neat. But of course, they do have a lot of. Um, free stuff. Um, you can choose an outfit, which is what I'm going to go do, but you do have individual options. So even if you choose an outfit, you could remove or react back in or change something else. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, that's pretty good. And that renders. Mm. So with the decision of what do you choose? How do you choose it? Well, let's go to the one with the the uh, the hat there. Well, let's keep with that. Um, so you could choose different shoulders, chest options, under, over, neck. You have a lot of different options here. I'm not going to go through everything. I said you can always go in and, and check for yourself. Most things are free. The ones that aren't, they'll have a pro next to them. By the way, most of them are free. There's a lot of options. Uh, gear. This would be where you can put stuff into their hands or on their person. Um, so let's go with show blades. Mm. Let's see, but um, let's see what um, no, let's try and go with a, like a spell type thing. This is an example. Um, let's see the back. Good couple of cloaks, but since this is an adventure for D&D, &D, we'll probably end up putting in the backpack. Just a basic one there. Yeah, here we go. Um, as for back but I think these things I would add apply on the back of the um, the backpack, so you do apply either onto the back or on the side of the backpack. You choose here. Now, I'm not going to do those things, we do have pressings and stuff. Um, that's fine. Stage, so we can put stuff onto the thing. That's a fault. Let's put a fox in. Nah. It's fine, really, I think. Um, we can choose mounts. We might do a mount. Base is the base, we just basically choose the different types of texture it's going to have. So this is digital, uh, you're asking for digital purposes rather than for an actual MIDI. You can just click the button here to lose it. Do the rim because that's the rim of the base. Label would be if you were to make a MIDI, you could put a label under underneath it. Um, but we don't have a base. Uh, pose is where you're going to change how they're standing and how they look. So, for instance, we could choose sitting down, just standing around, kicking. Well, it's quite a few um, I quite like that actually. Under advanced. You do get the option to 
twist and change different things. I hate doing that myself, but there you go. You can see you can change the uh, different parts. Uh, I don't need to do any of that, I never usually do. Sometimes we can change, maybe they're looking off to the side, that type of thing. Face would show you the different how cocky, angry, or happy they are. You do have uh, presets. Well, there's a little bit of shadow sometimes that they do fade out just because of the way it renders in. Uh, I'll go with cocky. Nobody wears a hat like that and doesn't look like cocky. And then there's a color feature. Now, some people will spend absolutely ages trying to pick different colors. To be fair, if you're not looking to be really, really specific, it's pretty good. Like, for example, you could just choose something there. Just different basic, um, kind of a skin tone and basic things. Uh, you can go to some uh, less than human. We got like a, like a drow. Yeah, let's go with that. The theme is where I'll have a little bit of a theme set and you can supply a whole bunch of colors all at once. Ooh, that's very colourful. Quite like that. We got the black and gold and we the um the molten fire type spell where he's casting. The purple really adds to the whole um uh, cockiness. It's a very cocky type colour, I suppose. It's a very confident colour. Before you get to you can just use paints. And here, there's all different types of colours that you can choose from. You can choose a type of painting, type of colour sets, like this cloth. Another actual paint. Plastic looking. Metal looking. Sort of brown, uh, bone or, or dry type of skin tones. Which of course does go into how does it one? Uh, hair, plant and nature based colors, stone, uh, wood, mm -hmm. fires, gems, glass, and ball. Let's go right here. One of the basic stuff that the more likely you do also have. Um, I'm kind of more animistic. Obviously, it says canine and bird stuff. They can be used for all sorts. Um, and there's uncommon, draconic, eline. The one you see has changed the uh, pupils as well. <clears throat> I think I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. Um, you could keep the theme. You could just go for just the uh, parishes. Also go for the whole eye as well. Okay. If you uh, there's an option to zoom in.
Take everything. Okay. I'm just trying to do like the whole eye. I don't think there's an option now. Which is a little disappointing. Not gonna lie. There's, you can even like do pictures and save them. For your brothers. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's better. That's yes, more fitting. So there we go. Um, here we can save. So we'll say. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. There's an option to name, I think we're going to pro, change it to law, because you also get a text box for notes. You? Yeah, I'm just going to put it in my mouth. Come on. Try. Put description and add green tag and stuff. In the midst of that, so the part about um, making Images and stuff that would be under booth. Now, booth is you can do a basic option here um, and then just capture. Booth is the only one that's a part of the pro. Um, there is an option somewhere, I think it's under here. Screenshot. And then you get an option to change stuff around and download. And then you can put that into something like token stamp to create a token for it and stuff. If you are a pro version, you do have booth. Here you could set up different backgrounds. Yeah. Type of thing. Background. You could also set up an environment. Choose different things about where the light is coming from and time of day and option here to think. Choose whether to hide the ground or not. Um I'll just do basic colours. The colour option. There's quite a lot. There is also a scene. It will render. There you go. And you can even bring in different things here. Change where it's going to view. Um, and then there's token. We can select different types of tokens. That would probably be fitting. Maybe it's a little bit too perfect. I think that would be a nice one. Then I could just click capture. Let's download it. Um, and now I have a and now I have a token that I can just use on things like Ball Twenty or whatever. So, but you can also. So, going to portrait. Now, let's say you want to do the spinny thing. You click the uh, arrow to the right of capture you have here. Now, you can do spinny mini GIF or quality spinny mini. 
Normally I would use quarter spinny because it creates nice high res spinning. However, I'm just going to go with the normal spinny because my computer is already trying its best to do the recording as well as this. And it does take a lot, so it is going to be something you'd have to let the computer do its thing. I'm hoping that just the normal spinny isn't going to crash my system. Um, because it's going to take a while. I mean, it's not even taking that fast, uh, that slow rather. We're at 2% already. 3%. So, it will take a while. If you're using the high-res version, you'll probably end up hearing your, the fans of your PC or laptop or whatever um, really going for it towards the end. Um, it's no issue. It's just because you're using a lot of RAM at once, that's all. It, it, it's, although it's done through the browser, it is your computer that's rendering the images, especially just taking a photo after photo after photo after photo after photo. Um, which will take a while. Um, hopefully to try and reduce the stress of a computer because it's now at 99% uh, GPU usage. I am going to pause the recording and come back when it's a bit closer to the finish. Hey and welcome back. So it's just finished. And you can see it's spinning right here. I'm just going to download. Although the your computer will take a while, it will take a couple of minutes really, but five minutes, not even. Um, that's for the really crappy laptop. Um, it will take a while, just to give, leave it to sing and I don't go on your phone or watch TV or something. Um, five minutes, and it just fell. It, it does take long, and the actual file is. It takes a while to create the image because it's using it through your browser and your and your. Um, PC, which isn't the most efficient way of creating an image. Um, it's because it's the way to do it through a browser. Um, the actual result won't take me much, so it's pretty easy to upload it other, to other places. Um, you want that it did download pretty quick. It's not the biggest. Um, And the reason for that is because I chose the, the smaller quality up in some cases something smaller. Just so it's something faster and it isn't going to crash my PC because it's still at 96-97% um, GPU. And I had three pop-ups <laughs> saying, oh, you should detect it. That's because I'm recording as well as making it and on multiple monitors. So I'm pushing my uh, little laptop to its limit. So of course, once you've made your character and then I'm going to close this now. Let's see what uh, this is only I like about um Opera GX it's um it helps reduce around the browser takes when you're busy with something else and not using it. Um so I do recommend Opera GX it's pretty good because you're only been using this a little bit more Although I will say that um, Hero Forge is better in Chrome and Firefox than any other browser. So um, if you want to put it online, you see a lot of things I save and pick up from either things I made through Hero Forge, you see a few of the year, images I find online, like character ideas, stuff I use for tutorials. Um, once you're logged into, I use Imgur, imgur.com, and you logged into images. I'll take it here, add images, and then I'm going to add it in. And yeah, these are some videos I made. So, this is the only one. Travel, turn around, open. See, it didn't really take all that long. To be fair, the high res one will be a bit of a bigger thing, but I have used the high res ones on here before. Yeah, this is all good. When it comes to putting a link into somewhere like D&D Beyond, you'll see here got a whole bunch of things. Some have um, markdown links and have certain um, thing. 
We got the HTML, we got BB code, which is one of the most messy upon forums. The markdown link is used for Reddit. Uh, code. And like the BB, BB code, so it's just the image, although it's an image that takes you to MJ. Um, you will see here drop link .gif.v. Um, recommended don't use that one for my form stuff. You just want this original GIF link. Just click copy. And I am going to put in here. I suppose it's posted any time. Ah. Okay, well, I've got a video for it now. So I'm going to put in here. No. This message is a swing soldier. I am making a video. What is the character I made in this video? I'm going to be editing that, but it's just so I can show you how to use it on DD Beyond. So once you got the image and you copied it, click on this icon here to so edit image. I paste it in. I usually don't bother with any of these. Um, it is usual to put in description stuff for certain, um, like text to speech type of that stuff or whatever. Um, for people who have to use accessibility software, um, most people do use it. Don't really use D&D Beyond very much because it's not formatted very well and there's a lot of problems with it. Um, so there you go, very much more point, and then you'll see it will work in the post. Now you can see this size difference, this is the smaller option I used, whereas the high quality, the more high res one is the bigger one. But uh, I normally use the high res one just because it looks bigger, I like the bigger, but it's just because I'm recording and my laptop wouldn't be able to handle it very well. So there you go. So hopefully that would help. It gives you a quick show how easy and, e and quick it is to make a character using Hero 4, especially if you have a pro version. Because then you can automatically create tokens and high res images and scenes. Um, you can completely change like the lighting. Have a good play around with it. Um, so it's definitely worth getting the pro version. Um, if you can get it, because you get nice spinny things like this. Thank you. I hope it helped. Uh, see you next time. Bye.